Rain and her adopted brother Andy and four other space colonizers are attacked by aliens while attempting to steal equipment from an abandoned spaceship. So, guys, what did you think of the story of Alien Romulus? I think the story is pretty solid. What was they doing it for? For money or something like that? They were trying to escape this mining town. We we got we meet our main character Rain and her adopted brother Andy, and and you know they come they I guess they come up with this plan. Tyler, her former ex boyfriend, he comes up and says. Hey, we need your help to escape this mining uh, place, uh, this mining town. Uh, but the only way we can do it is by stealing these cryopods because where they want to go is so far, they're going to have to sleep for like nine, 10 years. I, I don't remember. Uh, but they need those cryopods. So that's why they go into this abandoned ship and they need her brother, which turns out to be an android, Andy, to help them get into the ship. The character Tyler ensured Rain that it's the perfect plan. Like, he had in the back, he had everything playing out. As soon as they get there, everything started going wrong. But yeah, like the story, it's actually pretty, pretty good, you know, overall. I, I actually like it. I did feel like some of it was a bit too close to the original movie. I, I did want them to mix it up a bit more, but it did start to feel kind of more beat for beat like the I, original movie. Well, it's it's only so it's so much you can you can do with aliens. That's it's, true. It's That's so true. much you can That's do. That's true. With. You know, you so, can't really can't go too far, but I did feel like I, they could have mixed it up a bit more. In my, I, I think they probably was a little afraid because I think they wanted to stay close to the original as possible since those are the ones that, that people know and love, the Alien 1 and Alien 2. So I think they kind of didn't want to go too far off track. They, they didn't want to go too far off the reservation? Which was a good thing because the movie actually is a pretty solid movie. Pretty solid? Uh, yeah, for me, I, I feel the same way. It's like, yeah, they... It probably could have gotten a little bit more original, but the basic general idea is there. And like Caution said, you, you can't, that's only so much you can do with the whole, oh, okay, they stumble across the, the uh, spaceship and the aliens are going to attack. You can't really do much more with that formula, uh, as we saw with other alien movies. We're not going to, we're not going to uh, you know, put them out there like that. But yeah, you can only go so far. And they, they stayed in the safe zone. That's basically what they did with it. But yeah, easily the best characters for me is Kaylee Spaney as the orphan, you know, minor Rain and her adopted brother, you know, who, who an android that was reprogrammed by her father, uh, David Johnson as as Andy. He was just he was just the most memorable thing about this movie. Like every time he was on screen, you just you immediately want to see what he what he has going for him because as uh as we pointed out that you know you can subtitle this movie, Andy did it. It's all Andy's fault. That's what the movie could be called. Uh, you know, Andy did it. Andy's at fault. Andy is the one, even though and all Andy, all poor Andy did was just be an android. Blame the black guy. Yeah, it's Andy. <laughs> Andy, you did this. You're the reason I'm here. But, you know, the other characters that were interesting to me was uh, obviously Tyler's, you know, sister, his pregnant sister. And I just felt like soon as she was on screen, I knew that wasn't going to turn out well. A pregnant lady in an yeah. alien movie never turns out well. Yeah. Uh, and then you got obviously the, the you know jackass cousin. He's the douchebag you know is gonna die before the credits in this movie yeah. roll. I was like, as soon as you see him on screen, you go, yep, he's gonna be one of the first to go. And I wasn't wrong. <laughs> <laughs> With the other characters like Tyler, I felt like I thought they was gonna give him more to do inside of the movie. I'm a bit surprised because I did think that they were building him for more. But you're right, you know Tyler. He gets like a big moment, uh, but it it's like, oh, okay, well, Tyler's gone, <laughs> you yeah. know, Tyler's out of his, out out of his way, uh, and then you get got finally his uh the pilot played by Ellen Ellen Wu as Navarro, yeah, uh, she goes pretty early, <laughs> yeah, and it seemed like she was building up to be an interesting character, but it's just she goes pretty soon. So I also want to bring up the fact that we had another actor in this movie. Uh, n not really, but kind of. Uh, Ian Holmes appeared as Ash as his original character in the first Alien movie, but Ian Holmes passed away in 2020. Apparently, they got permission to use his likeness uh, in this movie uh, to play to to kind of resurrect his character. And I think I thought that whole thing was interesting. You know, you got this actor who famously played an android, who himself, after he has passed away, is now an android in this movie, and that's just. It's just something about that is kind of creepy. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> yeah, it was. 
he's gone, but yet he's still in an alien movie. Yeah. And I just found that out. I didn't even know he died. Rest in peace to uh, Ian Holmes. Yeah, he uh, was terrific in that first alien movie. I thought he did. The AI, well, the AI did an amazing job in this movie. Like well, they, they used the deep fake to kind of, I guess they based it off so many of his performances over the years. Uh, it does okay. It's not, it's not perfect, but it works for his character because he's an android. Yep. So he's not supposed to look 100% real. He's like a damaged AI. So it worked for the movie. But yeah. uh, I initially thought the reason why it looked like that is because he aged and they wanted to make I did too. Make I honestly home. did too. But apparently, no, no, this was just them using deep fakes of his uh, original performance. Yeah. But I think he, I, and, and to me, uh, he did the second best job next to Andy. Okay. What did you guys think about the general direction, the action, and the tone of the movie? Movie. Do you think it, uh, you know, captured that alien feeling? What, what do you guys think of it? I say yes. The tone, the tone had my anxiety up to the, like, the, oh, yeah. The music. I, I love the music in this movie because it, it brought that anticipation to uh, when a jump scare happened. I kept thinking jump scares was going to happen. So I, you think they captured that pretty good. I, I, like, I like the fact be. that the director of this movie chose to do practical effects. Yeah. He chose not to lean on CGI that the, apparently the aliens were played by, you know, animatronics, actors, uh, maybe in suits. He stuck with the, the original, yeah. the first two movies where it was practical effects. And if that's something about that that felt more real, yep. more visceral, because they didn't use as much CGI, everything felt more like, like it felt more gritty, more yep. you know, than than it than the previous movies. And for me, I I did like the action. Uh, that's one scene in particular with uh, Rain, where I guess the aliens are coming after her. They're about to kill her. They're about to destroy her, and then she turns the uh. The gravity system. Yeah, the gravity system. On, on. And, and suddenly all of the aliens float up. And that's when she just starts so, pumping rounds into them. All that was this, like the best scene in the movie. Yep. All this happened on another planet. It happened on the ship. It happened on it the happened ship. On the ship. Okay. See, I, I, I told you. I've been telling <laughs> Caution for a while, stop ranking during these reviews. <laughs> so what what you think towards the end? What you think about towards the ending with the pregnant chick? That sequence uh, was very reminiscent of some stuff we've seen in previous Alien movies where, yeah. I, like I said earlier, that the moment they introduce the, the pregnant lady, we know this is going to go uh, you know, bad, badly, and it, and it does. What a uh, slowdown. What a yeah. slowdown. But, yes. but, the, but the direction was, was awesome. I thought that the director did a good job of, of kind of keeping the drama and the thrills high throughout the movie. You know, he really kind of nailed it on that. The action, the tone, it felt like the original Alien movies. It, it got away from Prometheus and some of these other Alien movies that came out recently. So I thought he just, he just nailed it on that. So I'm going to wrap this up. What do we give the final score for Alien Romulus? For me, easily, it's an 8.5 out of 10, right? I, I thought it delivered where it needed to deliver. But what do y'all think? I well, say the same. I, I'm so, I say the same. Eight point five out of ten. Like it's a pretty solid movie. I was on the edge of my seat for each scene. Great music, great characters, uh, and great plot. So pretty solid movie. Eight out of ten. But if y'all want to check out another alien franchise, Star Wars, our next video. Yeah.